it is as simple as this we call this in heartbeat mechanism okay where a client periodically sends a message to server to say whether it is online or not hello all welcome back to career with vasant youtube channel my name is vasant i hope you all doing well this is one of my favorite favorite series where i'm going to explain a lot of system design concepts so in this particular video i will be explaining the explaining the online messaging system design so you might have already seen it across multiple different applications like whatsapp uh, messenger telegram so how do two different systems on front end uh, implement the end to end messaging and what are the challenges involved in this so i'm going to explain probably some challenges with the web mobile all of that and if you're seeing me for the first time on the internet my name is vasan like i already told i create content about front end interview preparation if you're not already subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel without waiting for that but let's get started yeah so as you can see here are the top four problems that i'm explaining a part of this particular video i don't want to spend a lot of time in uh, documenting and designing the thing so i have pre-drawn few things so that the session becomes much more quicker so if you look at this particular thing so four problems you are solving one is end to end messaging how to check a particular user is online or offline how to send a media files especially the images videos etc how to perform end to end encryption you might have heard a lot of people have might have heard about this end to end encryption but i assume very few really know how end to end encryption works okay now uh, the assumptions are like here we are considering both mobile and web app for uh, end to end messages for example you can send a message from facebook mobile app to facebook web somebody is online so vice versa from mobile to mobile all of the things are assumed to be a one of a requirement okay now let's start with a very simple thing that is end to end messaging okay so for example we have the user 1 and user 2 and there is a server so now whenever user 1 wants to send message to user 2 there has to be some connection okay only this diagram already pre drawn everything so that you guys can understand very quickly and other things i have kept as suspense so here you have user 1 who want to send message to user 2 there are multiple different ways two particular users can get connected one one way is where user one make a rest api call to server and again use server would whenever user to ask are there any updates again server can send that message where the two users are connected via rest rest architecture so but the problem is that approach as you all know the chatting should happen very simultaneously like whenever user one sends immediately message should go to the user two so the best technique or best way to connect the two devices is always using the socket connection most applications including the application like facebook uh, mess facebook messenger telegram whatsapp they all use the socket connection as a means of connecting between the two users okay so if you know what is the disadvantage of socket connection at this time only please mention that in the comment section okay um i might be explaining some part other part of the video but if you already know please mention that in the comment section now the first problem entered my sense quite simple so user 1 starts a connection a socket connection server no server whenever user 2 comes online they are going also going to establish a socket connection with the server and whenever user 1 wants to send message to user 2 they will use that socket connection no matter how many people the user 1 sends a message there is always a one socket connection uh, that will be established okay so next important problem is how to check a particular user is online or not okay so this is one of the important question i am not going to show my solution very quickly but i want you guys to think see one of the problem why it is a very challenging problem to say whether a particular user is online or not because for example i have opened my mobile application and i have uh, i have opened my mobile application i probably i made a get request to get uh, different messages or any updates so that way a uh, server can say somebody is online because i made a recent request but after that i may not be making any change i just kept my mobile open and i'm just scrolling and reading some other messages so that when that probably i may not be making an api call because of its back end may not know whether i'm online or not or there is also a chance where i've opened my mobile app and i put it in my background then i open some other app technically i'm still online i am connected to internet i have opened the app and i kept it in the background so technically i'm still online how does backend really get to know whether a particular user is online or not this is a very very important problem the reason being let's say you open linkedin or let's say you open whatsapp you have to show whether a particular user is online or not right it's a very serious problem to solve how to solve that problem i'm going to explain so it is as simple as this we call this an heartbeat attack mechanism okay where a client periodically sends a message to server to say whether it is online or not okay so for example now here first the client has sent a one one message so server knows user one is online after 5 seconds it sent another message so user server knows user one is again online after some more seconds again the user one has 5 second again it has sent a message to server saying i'm online after 5 second this the user one did not send a message to server saying that he is online he or she is online because of the which now server knows the user one is offline 
it could be because of multiple reasons where user one connectivity is low or user one decided to switch off turn off the internet it could be any reason but at at a periodic time the server is getting to whether a particular user is online or not now the next question is what is the right mechanism that a client updates the server that it is online or not what do we mean by mechanism here like for example will client make an api call every 5 second to update server it is online or not or it uses something that we have already used okay the right mechanism would be using the sockets because there is already a connection between client and server why to establish another connection to tell whether a particular user is online or not correct so this is called a heartbeat mechanism where we would use the existing sockets to tell whether a particular user is online or not okay this is a very serious and very important problem that how how a system solves now let's go to the third problem that is how to send media files correct right? almost all of us are very familiar by sending our photos pdfs documents to the our friends using the chatting application correct so now we have user 1 here and a server here and probably there is a user 2 which again comes and will be sending the our resources to the user 2 So the biggest problem is i in fact i ask you comment what is the biggest problem of socket the biggest problem of socket is socket is designed for a lightweight data socket is not designed for to send a heavier data like for example images videos etc so socket should be used for sending the light data so now but we have already have a socket connection established so whenever sending the media files should we use a socket connection or not if without my explanation explaining further if you already know the answer please mention that in the comment section if not let's look at the answer okay so where this is how it would work so where whenever user 1 wants to upload a file or user want to send some file to user 2 we were not using the existing socket connection the reason is simple socket is again lightweight okay so first what would happen is we make a rest api call like typically whatever the get and post api that we make we make that api call we will save the data on the server we could use some content delivery system cdn or anything basically but basically the data is stored on somewhere on the server and it will return a resource id for example you uploaded one image the backend would return an id called 100 so now the backend can uniquely identify an image using that particular id now next within the socket connection whatever the data or the text message that whatever you are passing along with this will also pass this message id whenever the user to receives this message id it will make a request to the server asking can you please send that particular uh, resource to me and that would be sent to the user to okay i hope you understood but i'm going to quickly recap so whenever we have to send the media files do not use the uh, socket connection because socket connection is meant to share a lighter version of the images like lighter images lighter data is it is used and not for the resources like images video etc okay so do not use sockets for a heavy data so instead of that use your typical rest api calls to make the api calls to store data and whenever it, the server returns a, a resource id use that resource id and interact with the server like using the socket connection okay always remember this how to handle the media whenever we are doing the chatting application okay now last and one of the very important problem is how to perform end to end encryption okay a lot of people might have heard what is end to end encryption see end to end encryption means we have like user 1 and user 2 whenever user 1 sends message to user 2 the expectation is nobody in middle should be able to decrypt it okay so for example even whatsapp or facebook servers should not be able to decrypt the message that is what end to end encryption means but so far every time whenever encryption comes there was always some keys involved and server had these keys there is always a way server or somebody hacks the server or somewhere man in the middle attack was able to get these resources so how facebook or facebook messenger whatsapp has implemented end to end encryption i'm going to explain it to you now okay so it's again one very very important problem okay which can be asked in the interview so now let's go ahead and take a look at it again so where there is a user 1 and user 2 user 1 sends message to user 2 user 1 responds back to user 1 so this mechanism should be end to end encrypted so nobody should be able to decrypt how it is implemented is so user 1 has two keys okay it's called public key and private key user 2 also has private key and public key so it's very simple everybody uh, who who are in the platform will have two keys whatever the public key they have that will be registered on the server so register the public key user 2 will also register the public key okay every time whenever a new user comes to uh, onboards into whatsapp or facebook two keys are created public key is again sent to the server and it is safely stored in the server private key is not sent to anywhere 
प्राइवेट की इज जस्ट स्टोर्ड इन यूजर्स लोकल स्टोरेज इफ यू आर यूजिंग द योर मोबाइल ऐप इट कुड भी स्टोर्ड इन लाइक फॉर इन एंड्रॉइड इट कैन भी स्टोर्ड इन शेयर विद प्रेफरेंस फॉर आई इट कैन भी स्टोर्ड इन द की चेन यू आर यूजिंग द वेब इट कैन भी इनक्रिप्टेड एंड स्टोर्ड समवेयर इन अ वेरी सेफ लोकल स्टोरेज ओके सो बट इट इज नॉट सेंट टू सर्वर बाई एनी मीन्स नाउ द यूजर वन एंड यूजर टू हैज रजिस्टर्ड इन पब्लिक की now let's say user one decides to send a message to the user two okay so as you can see here first register private key server sent like rk registered successfully now whenever user one wants to send users to a message user one will get the users to public key and encrypts the message like for example i want to send like hi career with vasant users this message is encrypted whatever the encryption algorithm could be the multiple algorithms whatever the encryption algorithm could be but this the user one would encrypt the message that they want to send using the public key of user 2 so who can decrypt it only user 2 can decrypt it using their private key nobody else can decrypt this message okay the reason being it is encrypted using the user 2's public key it can be decrypted using only using the user 2 private key so, but the problem is nobody else in the world has the user 2's private key only user 2 has it so because of that as you can see here encrypt the message using user 2's public key and it will send it to server server send this message to the user to scan server decrypt no server also cannot decrypt and then it will decrypt the message using its private key again if you had if the user one had to respond again it will encrypt the message using user's one's private key user one's public key and it will send it to user one again user one decrypts the message using the their private key okay so again i'm going to explain just so that somebody might have missed it so there is user one server and user two whenever a new person onboards into platform both of them they will register their public key onto server their private key is purely stored in their local storage it could be mobile app it could be web their private key is extremely private nobody else in the world have access to the private key it's not stored anywhere so whenever user one wants to send a message to user 2 the user 2's public key is used and the message is encrypted and whenever that message is sent to the user 2 the user 2 will basically decrypt the message using their Uh, private keys so public key is something that is uh, available on the server can be extracted by the different users who are using the private key is stored only on the users local storage so encrypt using the public key decrypt using the private key okay now here comes one last segue where i'm going to stop sharing and i'm going to ask you this if you know the answer please mention in the comment section most of you might know there is something called whatsapp business where from the single mobile uh, number you could register your phone on the you could register on multiple devices uh, this can be useful in the uh, business purpose but whenever the single mobile number is used across the multiple devices how to ensure the end to end encryption happens because whenever you use a single user you had the public key and private key that is stored now you are logging on the another device also but your private key is here how to handle the private key there that is a problem if you know how to solve a multi user experience with respect to end to end encryption please mention that in the comment section i have another uh, small follow up question again around this as well like for example you are using your phone android phone or ios phone where you are using the whatsapp for sending the end to end messages it was working fine because your private key is stored safely for some reason you you lost your phone or you uninstalled your whatsapp now how to like get back this information If you know the answers to that, mention that also in the comment section. If if none of you get to know, or you want me to make another video explaining that, please mention that in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to make it. And uh, that's all for this video. If you like the video, please like the video, comment whatever you felt honestly, and um, uh, uh, share with your friends so that they also get benefited because of this video. And I'm bringing more and more such system design interview questions and answers. If you want me to make a video about any specific topic, please mention that in the comment section. LinkedIn also I write very actively about front end interview preparation. Please follow me on my, uh, LinkedIn as well. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next video.